Welcome to the chemistry question. Jordan here, and those of you who have been following me for a while may remember that my very first video was on the density of mercury. Today I'm responding to a specific request to revisit mercury and explain why mercury is a liquid. Let's first break down the periodic table. Every row corresponds to a new energy level and a new orbit for electrons. This however can be broken down further into the energy sublevels S, P, D, and F. Mercury's electron configuration does not fill its highest energy level, but it fills every sublevel. This is a fairly stable state, and mercury is happy just as it is. Normally, metals are connected by metallic bonds, which form a sea of electrons, allowing electron exchange, which keeps the metal together. Mercury, however, does not like to share its electrons, even with itself. This is also why it is a poor conductor. Even in gaseous form, Every metal forms a diatomic gas, except for mercury, which forms a monatomic gas. These properties may remind you of a noble gas, and this may help you visualize what is going on, as mercury likes to pretend to be a noble gas. You may wonder, then, why zinc and cadmium are not also liquids. After all, they are in a vertical column and should have similar properties, and it turns out they do. The same effects that makes mercury a liquid occurs in zinc and cadmium. They all cling tightly to their outermost S sublevel electrons. However, the effects become stronger with heavier nuclei, which is why cadmium has a lower melting point than zinc, and mercury has an even lower melting point. However, that whole column has lower melting points than the rest of the transition metals. Just as we see with orbits in space, heavier, more positively charged nuclei hold electrons much more strongly than lighter nuclei, so Mercury's 6s electrons are thus drawn in much closer to the nucleus, where they are much more difficult to remove or ionize. In fact, this effect also shows up in neighboring elements. Gold's unwillingness to let go of its single s electron makes it incredibly corrosion resistant. Thallium often has a plus 1 oxidation state instead of the plus 3 state seen in lighter elements in the same column, such as aluminum. The same can be said for lead in its plus 2 oxidation state. These oxidation states show that these elements will stabilize themselves by getting rid of their 6p electrons as that suborbital is not filled and is thus more unstable, but they still will not easily give up the 6s electrons. So, why is mercury a liquid? It is a liquid because it does not like to share its electrons, thus reducing the intermolecular forces that would hold it together as a solid. Thank you for watching the chemistry question. Be sure to subscribe and leave any questions and suggestions in the comments below. Until next time.